Now, some of these I've added myself. So there's things like the clock, uh, pretty straightforward. I've put uh, three different times on, so I've got UK time, New York and Las Vegas. Quite handy when I'm working out who I'm interviewing. We've got a weather application where uh, you can put in your location. So um, it always seems to be raining. I don't know if that's been uh, near Preston or uh, or whether that's just a, a bug with the software. <laughs> We've got the straightforward forecast anyway. Nice and simple just to see what the weather's doing. And you've got today's weather. There's shortcuts for the Windows games, which you can see on here. I've got a shortcut to Media Center, which I'll show you, and the World Wide Telescope, which I'll show you in a moment. One of the things I liked is there's a RSS reader, so the MSNBC on there. So you can pick an RSS feed. So let's go with um, that one. Pick the shortcut button for Internet Explorer and it fires into Internet Explorer. And you can read the article. So you don't get the full text on there, but uh, I think that depends on the feed as well. I can flip back to that. So the RS, RS feeder is quite nice, but what is also nice is you can put a full website in there and the thumbnails across the bottom are all live well so here's my site and I can look at the blog and I can scroll up and you can scroll left and right as well so this is a nice way of reading uh, a website I think it's using Internet Explorer as, it, as its back end engine but it's a, a nice simple way of, of keeping a, a, a way of easy reading the website you can click on links and um, it even supports pop-ups if there's a you know an extra window comes up from another website you can flick to that. I also have that up as a, as a title that which is a, a live thumbnail as well. You, I know you can see pick up the camera but it's changing. So put that one down here and find one that I added earlier which is quite a good one. And this is the old sport website. So again you can add the website on there, it's constantly updated so I haven't refreshed this page and uh, it seems to have just done it when the when the website oh it's probably when I reloaded the uh, the application to do the video so put things in like there's a Twitter page so there's my my Twitter account and uh, I've even got Google Reader working on it so I find this quite good for uh, if you just start you want to browse some RSS feeds, you can just read those. Very nice, um, nice way of reading uh, RSS feeds. So as well as having its own RSS reader, I find using Google Reader is probably better because it's got all your regular feeds in one go. So I mentioned that um, it can shell out to other programs. So let me show you an example of that. So this is the Microsoft Worldwide Telescope, which I've created the shortcut from. So this is a great touch application. So I can move around and look at the planet. So let's have a look at the um, solar system, we've got to Jupiter. Again, you notice I've not touched the mouse or the keyboard to do this. So this works really well. It's designed for the mouse and the keyboard, this the worldwide telescope. It actually works pretty well on this uh, on the touch screen. So it's a nice example of using the touch screen for a non-touch designed application. When you finish the application, you quit it and it takes you straight back in. Now with these tiles, you can personalise them, you can add applications, you can add them up here, up down there, whatever you want to do. So 
So let's have, something else I'm going to show is the kids paint program. This is actually a freeware paint application for kids. Well, my kids really love it, but I thought I want to show off how a mouse based application works really well on here. So I create a new picture. And let's get you see my fantastic artistic abilities. <laughs> kids absolutely love it. It's a really nice way of, of uh, painting, and they really enjoy interacting with it and uh, and sort of playing around. And you can play around with it, and do stuff with it, and chuck it. And... Great fun application for the kids. They they really like that. One, so I just thought so that one. So let's have a quick look at how uh, Media Centre works with the Touch UI. I think I've probably shown this before with the Touch with the UMPC. I want to show you how well this works as well. So I can pick the channel guide. I'm going to record your TV, find an extender. I don't want that. Let's. Um, Variety is the spice of life. So it makes really good media centre machine. Very, very responsive. And of course, while you can't drag across like you can on uh, the HP software, it still is a nice, easy way of going through the music. So it works really nice. So you can load it up to live TV and you can just go straight into live TV. So, once the cream is melted, nice quick way. You don't have to pick the remote up, you don't have to keyboard or mouse, you've got it there. And that's all from the Touch UI software, as well as having shortcuts. I just set the the shortcut in the in the Media Smart software. Okay, so I just before I finish here, I found a picture with some red eye in. So I've got the picture. I just go to fix red eye. Draw around the red eye. Done. Now you might think, okay, that's just same as using a mouse, but I found my kids really enjoyed playing around with photos on the uh, on the touch smart whereas they wouldn't bother with the mouse it's just more intuitive I can save that and done so thanks for watching this video on the HP touch smart I tried to give a feel for, for how we're using it uh, I think kids are, kids are love it they just love the painting program they'll play with the photos and putting the music on and everything else I found it's been good for the media center stuff and for uh, for the music as well so it is a really nice system if you can live with the compromises of not having sort of PCI, uh, PCI Express expansion then it's a good machine it's got a built-in tuner card I've added a USB dual tuner card for it and uh, that works fine as well so overall I've been really impressed I really do love the feel of the of the touch UI it's really nice to use and I think some of the things like the Google Reader and having those in so you can just tap it and it comes on uh, really make it so that it's a very immediate system uh, it's pretty fast anyway but you can just go straight to it straight to your web page and you've got the information that you want it's very nice for browsing just coming up to it and, and playing with it so thanks for watching this video I'll see you around on the digitallifestyle.com bye